Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Pierre Maria and you've reached the Conscious Living channel. Today it is my privilege to introduce you to a practical tool from our Practical Tools series. And I was thinking of, okay, <clears throat> what am I going to start with? And how can I start with anything else than what is for me the master tool out of all of the tools? It is that tool that you don't need to carry a big backpack around to have it with you because it is always within you. It is accessible 24 seven. And it is that tool that not only allows you to set your vibration for the day, to ground you and connect you with spirit for the day, but it's also that tool that you can apply in any moment when stress or triggers appear. And this is the tool you might know by now of your breath. Now, before I get into why this tool works so magic and how we can apply it in its different ways, let's take a breath together. If comfortable, inhaling and exhaling through your nostrils. Inhale when you're ready. And exhale. And look at that. One conscious breath is already a game changer. Now, your breath can be used in different ways. Your breath can be used to calm yourself down, to regulate your nervous system, to release stress in the moment it appears, to calm your mind, it can also be used if you're feeling lethargic to uplift you, to energize you and to vitalize you. What I want to focus on today, and I will give you some techniques as well, is the first one. I want to focus on how do we use it to regulate our system and to calm ourselves down. Because I do believe that is one that is more so needed even though both are beautiful. Now, let me start with this. It is actually my brother that gave me this light bulb moment many, many years ago. Thank you, Livio. And I don't know if, if he came up with this or if he's heard it from someone, but for me, it comes from him. So he said to me in a moment where my mind was extremely agitated, he said to me, okay, Piera, what you need to decide is the following. Do you want to be the servant of your own mind or do you want your mind to serve you? And I was like, Chung! I love having these light bulb moments. And I said to him, man, I definitely want my mind to serve me. And in that moment, I felt like I was a servant of my mind. So what I learned to watch and to witness is what happens with your breath when your mind is agitated, when your mind is racing from one thought to the other, maybe it's just on loop and repeating the same thought, what happens with the breath? Your breath is going to be shallow, your breath is going to be fast, and probably you're going to feel it more in your chest than down in your belly. So what happens when your mind is very calm, your mind is at ease and it's focused, what's your breath doing then? So I was watching this. Your breath has gonna have the qualities of being smooth and steady and kind of slow. And you will feel it all the way down to your belly, to your abdomen. So this means, okay, if that's what the breath does and the mind, if that's the relationship they have, that means in moments where my mind is super agitated, I must be able to influence and manipulate that through my breath. And yes, you can. So in moments when your mind feels super busy, your mind is super agitated, 
what you can do is first of all as always and i know you hear me see uh, you hear me saying this a lot but celebrate that you have even noticed it because you're going from unconscious to conscious so celebrate that you have noticed that your mind is wandering and that your mind is racing and it's going from one moment to the next and as you celebrate that now you can make a conscious action a conscious choice so now i invite you to simply bring your awareness bring your attention bring your focus onto your breath and allow your breath to slow down and i'll go through some techniques afterwards the other aspect is your autonomic nervous system and it's all connected don't get me wrong but there's moments we have these two strings in our autonomic nervous system this is the parasympathetic which is your rest and digest mode and this is the sympathetic this is your fight flight freeze survival mode this is when even the physical sensation yeah my palms are going to get sweaty again my mind is going to be racing my heart is going to rise my heart is going to beat faster at the same time i might bring some contraction i might close myself off in in kind of a defense mode so the thing is both parts of these nervous systems are super needed don't get me wrong and if we were still living in a situation where let's say the tiger is in front of us we need this sympathetic nervous system 100 it's a beautiful aspect of ourselves but the reality is that when we are experiencing constant stress we are in an overload of the sympathetic nervous system and we are that due to perceived threat so now it's not the tiger anymore in front of me that brings me into the sympathetic nervous system now it can be as much as a look from someone it can be my boss calling me into the office i don't even know what the message is if it's good or bad this can be my colleague telling me off about something but these are all things they're not life-threatening but we interpret them as a threat we interpret them as even life-threatening in moments so what happens we go into the sympathetic nervous system and we're overusing it we're on an overdrive here beautiful people and we don't need to do this and again it's exactly the same as i explained before our breath becomes fast it becomes shallow but we have the opportunity that we can regulate this and we are allowed to use this tool of this beautiful breath to allow ourselves in those moments to regulate our nervous system and to come back to a place of homeostasis to in those moments and i know it takes some time and it feels tricky because most of the time exactly when we need it we forget but we're training ourselves to do so in the moment we get the trigger in the moment we feel the stress to take these deep calm breaths and through that we regulate ourselves we come back to ease we come back to clarity and then we can take the next divine action and then we can do the next step so there's the two aspects here there's the aspect of really okay apply it in every single one of those moments that it's needed in those moments where you do experience the trigger and the stress and the other aspect that really makes a huge significant positive change is take time conscious time out of your day where you focus simply on allowing yourself to breathe and what you're going to do through that is you're going to kind of raise your tolerance so what you're going to do through that is you're going to allow yourself to really ground and anchor yourself for what is to come that's why i personally love to do that in the morning and then in the evening again and then of course using it when the triggers come but i'm kind of setting my vibe for the day i'm setting my frequency for the day and through that i'm training myself as well that in moments where the triggers appear i use the tools and um and friends of mine have just recently again made me aware of how now these tools have become a pattern for me and then they've seen me literally watch me in moments where something triggered me what do i do 
and then I act. Now let me give you a few different practices here. I want to give you three main practices that I think have beautiful, beautiful instant effects. Now, one of the scientifically proven breaths to allow yourself to activate your parasympathetic, your rest and digest mode nervous system is belly breathing. How do we do belly breathing? So first of all, if it feels comfortable and if it feels supportive for you, you can use your hands as sensory feedback and you can place your hands on your belly. Now we're gonna, with our awareness, with our attention, we're gonna direct the breath into our abdomen, into our belly. As we inhale, we're really gonna allow the belly to round out, to bulge out. And as we exhale, we just surrender, we just release, we simply let go. Do this with me if it feels comfortable. Every inhalation, inhale, direct your breath into your abdomen, Feel the belly rising, allow it really to bulge out, especially a lot of us women have a tendency to want to hold our beautiful abdomen in. Allow it to round out. Exhale, just release, just let go, just surrender as the belly drops back towards the spine. As you inhale, you expand the abdomen, you direct the breath into the center of your body, allowing to center yourself exhale release and you do this as many times as needed to allow yourself to come back to this calm space another beautiful way is to focus on your exhalations and work on lengthening your exhalation while your inhalation is more associated with energizing your exhalation is more associated with calming once more activating that rest and digest mode. So you can do this in different ways. Literally, you can just bring your awareness, your attention to that exhalation. So I allow myself to simply inhale naturally, and then I watch my exhalation super closely. And through just watching it super closely, what you'll notice, it will automatically lengthen that little bit. I notice, is there this slight subtle pause before the next inhalation comes? I just allow the inhalation to come. Is there that slight subtle pause before the exhalation comes? I exhale with my full attention, my full awareness, and I just release it out. Another thing you can do is you can apply ratios. So ratios is when you count your breath. So let's say I could count, I would inhale, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, four. So I might be doing one count more on my exhalation than my inhalation, maybe even a few more counts. With ratios, I think I have one or two meditations um, where I also suggest a ratio initially, but I will always only suggest it and tell you to adjust the numbers to what feels appropriate for you. Every day is different and every person is different. So please listen to your inner guidance system none of this should be feel should be feeling forced yeah so what you then want to do is you want to extend your exhalation by maybe one or two counts whatever feels comfortable and then do a few rounds of this and notice how fast your mind becomes calm how fast you allow yourself to actually the physical body the physical sensations of stress to simply release back down how your heart space even opens. And then one more that I want to give on your way that I just love and one of my exceptional mentors has taught me this one. And this is one that I love when there's like an instant trigger. There's this instant trigger, there's this instant stress and it can sometimes feel quite sharp, can't it? So then I like to apply this one. You inhale through your nose again. If I haven't mentioned, by the way, all of the other ones we just did ideally if you can i would just inhale and exhale through your nostrils if for any reason you have a huge cold or whatever adjust it how you need to but in general just inhale exhale through your nostril now this last one we inhale through the nostril and we exhale through the mouth and as we exhale through the mouth um, almost imagine yourself blowing out a candle or 
blowing out a wind. And with that, I want you to even, if it feels comfortable, visualize, let go of whatever was the trigger. So it would look like this. You inhale through your nose. Release through your mouth. One more time. Inhale through your nose. Release that trigger through your mouth. And then after I've done that once or twice and like literally, okay, blow out whatever it is that no longer serves me, then add this for two or three rounds. Inhale through your nose and add a sound as you exhale. <sighs> Just this slight kind of sigh. Inhale through your nose. <sighs> And at the end of the sigh, bring a little smile even onto your face. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Ah. And physically bring that smile. And now just check in again. Just tune in again. What do you notice that is different? Have you just allowed your nervous system to come back to ease? If not quite yet, then do a few more rounds. So I really recommend start to apply these tools. Your breath is everywhere with you and it's okay. Maybe again, it still happens to me. Ah, oh, why didn't I take a deep breath there? That would have been a good moment. Ah, oh, I forgot. That's okay. Next time I do it. Every time I realize I celebrate and I breathe. This is a tool you always have with you use it use it in the most loving way possible you are always just one breath away to coming back to ease so i hope this was helpful let me know how you go um, if you want to know more about the things i do or if you just want to contact me check out uh, the links in the description and i am sending you all my love all my gratitude, all my appreciation, and a beautiful calming breath from my heart straight to yours.